Today, we are going to be creating a lace applique on the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic. And we're not only creating the lace applique, we're going to be putting it on the knees of my favorite pair of black jeans. For this particular project, I took inspiration from Junio Watanabe. There was a pair of denim that came down the runway that had patchwork lace applique pieces on it. So, we're going to be making a pair of jeans with lace applique pieces. And best part is, you already have jeans in your closet, you're gonna make the applique on your machine, and you're gonna save yourself $1,800. In order to make our lace applique, we're going to need a water-soluble interfacing. The one I'm using is the Embroidery Interfacing Wash Away. You can get this at Joanne Fabrics or order it online. I'm using the Pellon brand, but you can use any brand you like. The really cool thing about this wash away interfacing is that you can put it on the top of your hoop of your project. You don't have to put it on the bottom of the hoop because it is going to disappear. So cool. We're also gonna need an embroidery thread. I'm using 100% polyester embroidery thread by Coates and Clark. You're also gonna need your embroidery hoop for this particular embroidery that's in the machine, I'm using the 240 by 150 hoop. After we finish our embroidery, we're gonna need a few more supplies to be able to sew the applique onto the denim. So you're gonna need your matching thread. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors so we can cut out the fabric behind the applique. And you're gonna need some pins so we can pin the applique down. Most importantly, don't forget, you need a pair of pants. The first part to this project is creating the lace applique. So I want you to go ahead and grab your wash away interfacing and you need to grab your hoop. We're going to hoop the interfacing. Now grab the bottom of your hoop and we're gonna place it on the wash away interfacing so we know how big to cut our interfacing. So let's go ahead and place this down. I like to leave about an inch or so all the way around. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the way around. Perfect! Now we have a piece of interfacing that's the size of our hoop. Now that you have your big hoop on the table, let's take your piece of wash away and lay it on top. Make sure you have your inch, inch and a half that's sticking out all the way around the hoop. Now we want to take the smaller inside hoop and place it. Notice it gets a little bumpy, no worries. Let's pull it just a little bit and even it out before we lock in the hoop. Okay, now that we have the interfacing hoop, we're gonna go ahead and close it up over here. Now what we're gonna do is tighten up the interfacing so we have a nice taut hoop. Now what I like to do is go to the edges and very carefully pull it. You don't wanna rip it, but we wanna make the interfacing a little bit tighter. So go all the way around the edges. Now that you have your interfacing hooped, it should look something like this. No wrinkles in it, you still want it to have a little bit of play to it. You don't want it too tight. So this here is a good tightness. Now what we're going to do is go over to the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic and we are going to make our lace applique. Who's excited? I am. Now we're over at the Designer Epic and we need to select our applique. So let's go ahead and find it. First thing we need to do is hit start new because we're starting a new embroidery. So now you're gonna have your menus that pop up. You want to make sure that you're going to be in the J menu and to get to the other menus, we just hit the letters at the bottom. Now scroll through the J menu all the way to the bottom and find number 15. Number 15 is gonna be a lace oval in pink. Go ahead and select that, hold it down, and it's gonna pop up on your screen. Now you're gonna notice that it's a little bit big for the hoop. Totally okay, we're gonna resize it. 
Now you want to go down to the resize button and click it and you can click on the corner and drag it in and make it smaller. I made this as small as it would go. So now once you've resized it, we are all set. You can hit the go button. Now when you're in this menu, you want to make sure you select which plate you're using. I'm using the zigzag plate, so I have that selected. You want to select your foot. I'm using the sensor Q foot, so I've selected that. And we're using the deluxe stitch system. We're also using the automatic thread cutter and automatic jump stitch trim. So now that I have all four of those selected, I want to hit continue. Now it's prompting us to slip in our hoop. Now grab your embroidery hoop and let's click it into place. Make sure your interfacing is out of the way and go ahead and slide this into place and make sure it clicks. And next, we hit start. We are on our way to an embroidery design. We just finished the embroidery and now it's time to take it out of the hoop and dissolve the water soluble interfacing. Now that your embroidery is finished, it should look something like this. So let's unhoop it and dissolve the interfacing. Now grab your scissors and let's cut the extra interfacing off of the applique. Now that your applique is cut out, it should look something like this. And don't forget, you're going to need to make two appliques because you got two needs. The next thing you want to do is grab a big bowl of water. We are going to use this bowl of water to dissolve the interfacing on here. Water soluble interfacing is so cool. It's like doing a magic trick. You're going to watch it disappear before your eyes and we're going to be left with a lace applique. Now let's do that magic trick and watch this interfacing disappear. Now what we're going to do is take our applique and dip it into the water. It takes a few minutes for it to work. First thing you want to do is really saturate your applique. You can see all the little air bubbles coming out of it. And you can see as I start to lift it up, it's kind of disappearing. So push it down in the water, rub it around a little bit, pull it out again. It's almost there. You can see how the edges are gone. You can flip it over. And are you ready to see the magic? And now it's gone. This is the before and this is the after. Notice how the interfacing has completely disappeared on this one. It's magic. Now grab your second applique and do the exact same thing. Make some magic happen. Now that you have both of your appliques prepped, all you need to do is let them dry out before we attach them to your denim. Now grab your tape measure and measure from the floor up to your knee so you know where to put your appliques. So I've measured 14 and a half inches up to where my knee is going to be and I went ahead and put a chalk mark. Now grab your applique and place the center of your applique on the mark that you just made. Now what we're going to do is grab your pins and pin down our applique.
Now that you have one applique pinned down, go ahead and pin down your other applique on the other knee. Now let's go over to the sewing machine and sew down our lace appliques. So you want to select the zigzag stitch, which is number 8 on the designer epic. So you'll notice the zigzag stitch shows up over to the left. And I also want to increase the width of my zigzag stitch to 0.177. Before we start sewing, we want to go ahead and put the S foot on and clip it into place. Now you want to put your pant leg on the machine. So make sure you take the bed of your machine off so you can fit the pant leg onto your machine. Start from the waist and pull your pant leg up onto the machine. So I want to make sure it's in the middle. So this is the center of my applique and my foot is here. When I start, I'm gonna start on this edge. Now we are going to zigzag around the applique. Make sure you take your pins out when you get to them. Now this is going to get tricky when you get towards the bottom of your knee. Move it and position it as best as you can. So now I've sewn as far as I possibly can. I can't turn this anymore. So I'm going to back stitch or fix and pull out my pant leg and reposition. So now I'm going to pull the bottom of my pant leg up onto the arm of my machine. And now I'm gonna start at the very bottom and work my way to the halfway point and then it's done. Now that we've gone all the way around, go ahead and back stitch and fix. Make sure this applique isn't going anywhere. Hit your scissor button. and pull off your pant leg. Now we have our applique on the knee of our pants. It looks amazing. Now go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other leg. Now we have our appliques beautifully on the knees of our pants and we are all ready to cut out the back of the fabric behind the applique so we can see our knees. Now go ahead and take your pants and turn them wrong side out so that way we can cut off that fabric. Now grab your scissors and we're going to clip into the center of our circle and go ahead and snip all the way to where your zigzag stitch is. And now very carefully snip all the way around the circle, the oval of where the zigzag is. And you'll notice your lace is underneath. Now go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. Turn them right side out and try them on. Let's see what they look like. Look how cool. We can see through the knees of our pants now and we have beautiful lace over the knees. So these are the pants before and now these are the super awesome pants after. I love these jeans so much. This is so cool because we made the lace on our sewing machine and then we put it on the pants. Talk about DIY, doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, make sure you follow me on Instagram at SoAnastasia and Anastasia Chatska. And TikTok, that's right, find me on TikTok under SoAnastasia. And because I know you love my style and you want me to make you something custom, Hit me up through a DM and let's make you something custom. When you're in Chicago, make sure you take a sewing class with me. I'm also doing summer sewing camps this summer. So if you're from out of town, this is the perfect time for you to come into town for a week and learn how to sew with me. So fun. Also, don't forget to hit the notification button and subscribe to the channel so you can check out all the other amazing videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.